So let's do the DDL task first. Let me go back. I'm back in a uh, management studio here and I'm hooking up again to analysis services. And I am now flipping over to our empty integration services project. And let's take a look at the toolbox, toolbox here. And let's just zoom in. Oh, man. Zoom in right here. Okay. Here's what, here's two of our analysis services task and here's our third major analysis services task. So these are the three tasks from an analysis services standpoint that we're going to talk about here. So let's just do them in order. Okay, let's start with the execute DDL task first. Okay. I'm going to drag it onto the thing here. Now analysis services DDL allows me to do anything in Excel M M XMLA. So come over here and I just make sure you understand uh, XMLA is XML for analysis. Okay. So I can use XMLA to be the DDL statements. So the question then is let me make first a connection to my analysis services server. So mine's just at my default instance, if you remember. And I want to connect. I only have a single database. That was that Learn It First database, and I'll just use Windows. Okay. So you need to put in, you know, we could do this from a variable, a file that stores the DDL for us, or direct input. Direct input is where you actually type it in. But how do you know what to type in? Okay, I'm going to help you out here. I am no XMLA expert, but I do know that the wonderful people who brought us the management studio also gave us the same scripting capabilities that we have in the relational engine. So this being the OLAP engine. So we have over here, I can go down to the cube and I could say, oh, I want to back up the cube. Or I actually want to script the cube as create. Okay, and I could come up to the database and say I wanted to back up the database. Okay, where do you want to back it up to? I want to back it up to the F colon learn it first dot ABF. Okay. So there's what we're backing up. Do you want to do backup encryption? Do you want to do compression? Uh, Etc. And look up there is my script window. And this is where you can get the XMLA script. You see it's XML. It's saying what is it that I want to do? I want to do a backup element and which object? The database and I want to back it up to this particular file. Okay. So I just simply copy and I paste Okay, and I say OK and that's it. Let's go look at the F drive real quick. Uh, there is no ABF file so there's no analysis services backup and I execute that particular task and of course uh, in a real live production environment that's going to take uh, you know, probably hours if it's a large database there but you can see it's green and at the end of executing this there's our learn at first dot ABF file okay, so you gotta know XMLA to be able to use that DDL task but many of the DDL functionality that you need is not that difficult to pull out of the management studio. If you want to learn it, of course, there's you, there's books online, there's resources that you can get. It's sort of out of the scope of an integration services course. All you need to know from an integration services standpoint is what it is, what it does, and how to use it. So how to use it is you need to be able to write XMLA. Okay, now let's step two this. Let's talk about the analysis services processing task. Okay, so that's the best way to demo this. I have a file. I'm going to show you this. So included in this zip file, I went ahead and kind of pre-prepped the demo for us here. We have, if we hook up to our SQL server, not the analysis services, and we use the AdventureWorks DW 2008 database, so let me actually put that in here. So we use that database. We can take a look at the DIM product and see that there is a product with a key of 559 that its English name is Chain. Okay. Now we can look in the sales table 
to see that it's never been purchased. Okay, all right, well, let's go back over to our database. Let's browse the cube again. Now notice, let me do this again to make sure everybody follows me. I'm connecting to the analysis services. I'm in the object explorer. So view object explorer, connect analysis services. And I'm going to go down to my cube sales. And I'm going to browse it. And let's now bring, let's move this out of the way here. And let's take a look at the sales. Okay, so let's again get the order quantity and the amount of sales. And let's do our products here. Uh, we could choose our product and we want to find, uh, what would we want? Um, the product key equals 559. Okay. And if it's not in here, we're not going to. Was it 559? There we go. Product key of 559. Okay. Move off the row. There are no rows. So our data warehouse reflects what the relational data warehouse showed, that there had been no orders for row uh, for product key 559. Does that make sense if I move too fast? 